Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're doing Advent of Code 2022, Day 18, Boiling Boulders. Um, skipping kind of through the story bit here, we're going to get a list of three-dimensional coordinates, and these there's going to be cubes centered on these points. And basically, they want us to count the surface area of all the cubes, but if two cubes are next to each other, we don't get the, you know, they, they block each other out. So in the example where there's literally two cubes, uh, each cube has six sides, that would be 12, but two of the sides, one on each, are touching each other, so those don't count, so we're down to 10. Um, we get a larger example here, and uh, you actually already got my puzzle answer here because I recorded part one um, surprisingly fast for day 18, um, and then I didn't realize I didn't have the audio on. So um, I'm recording it again, we'll see uh, see how we do. Uh, Gen Day script, um, there's a link to it in the description in the repo, um, plus I describe it in the day one video in detail, but Basically, it pulls my input and uh, gives me a stub to work on. Um, Input-wise, let's check it out. Just a bunch of numbers, and uh, there's about 2,100-something of them. So um, nothing important here. We'll grab the first one and bring it over here so we can use it when we parse. Um, so what, what's our strategy going to be? Um, we're going to make a set of the different rock coordinates and then we're going to for each rock we're going to check each side so there's six sides um and we're going to see if that move we're going to move one in each direction and see if that is in the set and if it's not we're going to add one and it's, it's really kind of as simple as that um so first we got to start with by parsing so we'll do four line in lines um we'll do line dot split on the comma um let's go ahead and pull this up here oops Okay, and then we're going to get, that'll give us a list, a three long list. So we are going to map onto that list the int function. And then we need to turn that result into a list. And then we can save that, we can get parts that as x, y, z equals. And there we go. Um, then we need rocks. So we'll come up here. Um, I don't want to type boulders a lot. So I'm just gonna be lazy and type rocks equals set. Um, and we can say rocks.add X, Y, Z, like that. And uh, I think we've got rocks. Um, now, we need to, part one, we're gonna set that equal to zero. And now we can do a four X, Y, Z in rocks. We're gonna, for each rock, what are we gonna do? Well, we want to say, we wanna look at each side. And so we're gonna say four uh, DX, DY, DZ in, and I don't want a better way than just to just type all this out. So. We'll do uh, 1, 0, 0, uh, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, and then 0, 0, 1, finally 0, 0, negative 1. So for each of those deltas, we're going to say uh, if x plus dx y plus dy, z plus dz, in, uh, not in rocks, part one, part one plus equals one. Uh, and uh, I think it's as simple as that, actually. Let's, let's give it a run here. Python, day there, input um, 3432. Um, way too fast for a day 18, but uh, all right. So part two, it's a little more complicated, right? They're now saying to us, we want to count the surface area that's exposed to the outside. So, you know, obviously that means that the, the, the immediate side has to be clear, but we have to also be able to trace a path from there out. Um, and so here we're going to, we're going to set it up so that we basically, um, let's see, we'll come here and we'll say part two equals zero, because we're going to do the same thing here. And we can, we're just going to do the same loop with a different check. So we'll say if, uh, we're going to make a function. So here, we'll come, we'll come up here and we'll say, uh, def can get out x, y, z, pass for now. Then we come down here and we can say, if can get out, uh, let's grab these right here because I'm not too lazy to type. That's part two plus equals one. All right, so now we're, we're done, except for we have to uh, actually write can't get out. Um, I really would love to do this with recursion, but I don't think that's actually the answer because I think it's going to get too long. Um, so let's see. Um, we will do from collections import deck, not default deck, deck. And so we're going to do this with a breadth first search. We will say 
uh, Q equals deck. We'll say Q dot app append and we'll X, Y, Z like that. And then we're also going to want to track where we've been because otherwise if we're just, we could step left, right, left, right, left, right. And we just keep going forever. So we want to say like, um, scene equals set. And now we can do a while Q. And so let's think about our base cases, right? Well, it, uh, first we'll say X, Y, Z equals Q dot top left. So we'll pull from the front of the Q. Now, if we've already seen X, Y, Z, we've been there and we know the answer already. We don't, we shouldn't, we don't need to go there again. So we'll say if X, Y, Z in scene continue. Uh, otherwise we're going to say scene dot and scene dot add for a set X, Y, Z. Okay. So what else? Well, if X, Y, Z is in a rock, we're done because we don't want to step that way. So we'll say if uh, X, Y, Z, in rocks continue um what else well what if how do we know we've reached air um if we look at the input we can see like nothing here's too big looks like it's all like less than 20 and positive um we could probably just say like if it's less than zero or greater than 20 we're done um in any direction but let's be a little bit more meticulous about it we can come down here and after we set the rocks we can say um X is equals X for X, Y, Z in rocks. And then we can say min X equals, that's actually min X max X equals min X's max X's. And we can make the same thing here two more times. Um, there's probably a more efficient way to do this, but we'll say this is Y's, we'll get Y. And then here we'll say min y and max y. And we'll do the same thing for z, 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 z. Oh, we're going to change it here too. Z, z, and make this y. And y, I'm going to stare at this real quick. This is the kind of typo that if I made a mistake, it will bite me later. But I think it looks good. Um, we need to change that to z's. Um, okay. So now we have the mins and maxes. So now we can say, if, how are we gonna say this? Um, we'll say, uh, x is greater than max x, or x is less than min x, or y is greater than max y, or, uh, maybe we'll go to another row, y is less than min y, or, Z is greater than max Z, or Z is less than min Z. So if any of those things are true, we've left the, we, we've reached beyond all the rocks. And so if that's the case, did I do something wrong? I probably need an or there. Uh, and if that's the case, then we're going to return true. Um, so we've got our kind of three base cases. If we've already been there, don't worry about it. If, we've already, if it's in the rocks, go, go on. Otherwise, um, if it's, if we've reached air, we're done. What if not? What if we've reached another internal, another space that we can't tell if we're out or not? So now we'll say for, uh, dx, dy, dz in, and I need to copy this. In fact, let's do this. We'll grab this and we'll call it deltas. I'll very at the very top and say deltas equals that. Now we've got this now we can just use this again in deltas. And we'll say uh, q dot a append uh, x plus dx, y plus dy, z plus dz. So we, we do that. And now if we reach the end of our q, we've, ran into, we've run all our spots and we don't make it out, we return false because we've clearly not made it to air. Um, and I think that's basically going to be it. Let's see. We want to have this. I don't know. Well, this should probably be... Make, let's make ourselves a little pretty here. Let's come down here and we'll put this up here. There we go. Um, that's probably it. We can run it and see. Um, it shouldn't take too long. 2042. Sweet, we got it. Um, there's one thing I wanted to try. So let's let's time this real quick. Not, not too long. Um, one and a half seconds. One thing we could look at. We don't... I wanted to do recursion. I think I said this. But I was worried we'd hit our recursion depth too, too fast. One thing 
recursion will really benefit from is we could do um, from func tools import uh, cache, and we could then cache this. Now, in recursion, that would be a huge benefit. But really, we're still going to be checking a lot of the same points, especially in this list. There's probably like a lot of places where edges share points, and we can cache that, and we don't need to run it twice. Because if 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 a if one two three can get out the first time, it can get out the second time too. So let's see if I've actually saved us any time. Yeah, look at that. it took almost a second off. Um, so like cut it by cut it to a third. Um, so again, just always be thinking about places you can use uh, cache. All right. Um, I'm going to call this one here. I'm way shorter than the last few days. I appreciate it, actually, because I don't know if I had hours to spend on this today. So um, I will be back tomorrow. Thanks for making it to the end. I appreciate you. Cheers.